You're watching Telecom TV from SCWS World here in London. And I'm joined now by Rajesh Mishra, who is co-founder and CTO of Parallel Wireless. Rajesh, good to meet you. There's a lot of interest in the radio access network. What's happening in the RAN at the moment? Yes, yeah, so in the RAN space, uh, industry has been reinventing what it used to be a femto cells, now small cells. And now people are realizing all the architectures need rethinking where what was a cloud RAN before, now there's a virtual RAN solution. So there's a lot of innovations happening in this industry and in this uh, RAN side of the network. What is CRAN and how does NFE play into this? So the CRAN, as I, I was mentioning, started with the dark fiber separate based background where the resources were pooled on a pool baseband. Now with the silicon becoming cheaper thanks to the Moore's law, the CRAN is reinventing itself which into a VRAN because now silicon is so cheap you can put on every radio head and what you do is you orchestrate from the virtual hardware and virtual software which is centralized in a cloud type of um, architecture, cloud type of data center. This is where you do all the network function virtualization and all the VNFs start to play into role. How many different functionalities or features, what we used to call in the old days, start to become the VNFs in the virtualization terminology. And one idea about the virtualization is not about having a check checklist of a bunch of names. It's about how they all work together, where uh, you're taking advantages of these working in the same box, not just merely repeating what was 10 boxes now in the one box thanks to VMware, but it's all about how you're taking advantages and optimizing and offering better services because of the virtualization. So how is Parallel Wireless helping? Yeah, so we believed in the VLAN architecture from the very beginning. And the reason being is that we believe in Moore's law, we still believe in that. And so from day one, our architecture has been the VLAN friendly architecture. And honestly, that's really a 5G architecture what people are now reinventing because the old CRAN does not scale. Uh, even with the dark fiber, you couldn't do the massive MIMO of 5G. So people are actually now leaning towards the VRAN architecture. And Parallel Wireless has been a big proponent of that from a long time ago. And uh, with the virtualization platform, thanks to our HetNet gateway, we're able to actually do majority of these functionalities sitting in the cloud and make the cellular deployment as easy as Wi-Fi. And that's the end goal, really. It's not the technology. It's how easy you can make it so you can deploy them easily. So is this what you mean by backhaul for 5G HetNet orchestration? When you want to deploy 4G or 5G networks or any other even in the past, you have to look at the total problem. You can't just focus on the radio side and say, that's my problem, that's someone else's to solve. You have to actually look across these different silos. Otherwise, it cannot be as easy to deploy as Wi-Fi. That's what we believe in. So you look at the backhauls, and you need to now orchestrate the backhauls just like you orchestrate the cells. So if you have multiple backhauls available, let's say you have a microwave available, you have a satellite available, you want to take advantage of that rather than just pick one. And that's where the SDN aspect of the networking comes into the picture, where the, with these different policies in HetNet Gateway, you can take advantages of these different backhauls available, not just as a bigger pipe, but you slice, you say that traffic X goes with a backhaul X, traffic Y goes on a backhaul Y, and that type of very simple but very useful routing you can do. This sounds like it's all part of future 5G architectures. So shouldn't operators just wait a few years, evolve their current LTE systems, and then when we see commercial standardized 5G, they will then be able to roll it out? Uh, no, because they can take advantage of these today. I think as the MVNO scenario or the tower sharing scenarios where they are doing a RAN sharing, it's actually a very simple example where you could slice all the way across where traditionally people do at the RAM level or the core level with a Mokan or Moran, people use those terminology. With the slicing, you could cut across all these, include the backhaul into the portfolio as well. In UK and around the world and in US and many other countries, now public safety is moving towards LTE. Not every uh, country has their own spectrum, unlike the US where they have their own dedicated spectrum. So this network slicing becomes even more powerful in those contexts 
where you're able to slice the resources for different users. If it's a public safety user, you can cut across the core, the backhaul, the access per user and per type of user. Despite a lot of talk here at SCWS World about using small cell in urban environments, you've been doing a lot of work already here in the UK with small cells in rural environments. So rural is very close to our heart actually because many of us, many of our founders grew up in rural environment and you know, a lot of times people think rural associated with the poor countries, but you know, UK, US largely are rural areas. You know, we all live in cities, we think that rural problem doesn't exist. And our aim is actually to solve the rural problem, make it as easy to deploy so, and cost effective to deploy so that you know, you're not fighting the battle of the making, justifying the business case. And I'll give you one example. Once we made our announcement with one of the rural deployment, we got email from a mother who said, uh, could you deploy in our village? Because she drives every day 30 minutes to a public library so her daughter can download a homework. And that was in UK. So you can imagine, it's not some poor countries. The challenge is everywhere. And the challenge is because the cost and benefit at the end of the day. So our aim is to innovate and make it as simple to deploy. So it's not only the cost of equipment, making it easy to operate, making it easy, take advantage of any backhaul available, so that the costs are everywhere. It's not just the equipment, and that is our job to keep innovating there and make it simple. And what's good for rural is actually good for dense urban too. It's just a matter of economics, actually. Rajesh, thank you very much indeed.